Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. My dear brothers and sisters, the Islamic Shore Council of Southern California uh, would like to highlight a couple of our amazing organizations uh, here in Southern California. We have organizations that are providing uh, great work to the community and we would like to give highlights and we would like to make sure that their great work is reflected on the work that our community provides and for us to be aware of all the amazing work that is being done on the grounds. Join me today as Esla Academy is going to share the great work that they're doing within the community as you'll be able to see and hear from their founders, community leaders and staff members. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Aziza Ali. I am the principal at Isla Academy. And what makes our school so unique is that we're able to provide a safe and affirming, academically rigorous environment for students in South Los Angeles, all through using Islamic principles. It's so exciting to be able to be a beacon of hope in our community. We have students from all over Los Angeles that come and join us here at Isla Academy. But I think most of all, I'm excited that we're able to share Islam with them and to cultivate Islamic studies and Arabic language for students here that go here that are Muslim. And um, for me, that is what keeps me smiling and coming back every day. I'm very grateful for that. Okay, I'll so welcome you guys. So what have you guys observed in your garden? Um, we hear a couple of things. Kale, snapdragon, kale, snapdragon, kale, snapdragon, broccoli. Snapdragon, broccoli. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Garland Bush and I am a co-founder of Isla Academy and acting vice principal. Um, at Isla Academy, it is our purpose and it is part of our, our mission to provide a safe, um, Islamic, um, trauma-informed school so that our children have a place to just grow and flourish. We are a WASC accredited K through 8th grade school that is trauma informed and that is rooted in restorative justice practices. And we find that these practices are very important for our community because it, it, it teaches proper communication. It teaches communication that uh, practices empathy, that practices um, safety amongst each other. So I'm just proud to be able to be a part of a a organization that has a mission to really providing safe spaces for our children. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Tariq Abdul Kawi Ali. I'm a teacher here at Isla LA and I also help our religious services. This is important because um, I, I think that I'm an example of what many have been and many can be. Um, and why the services at ISLA we seek to expand because we seek to take people from a very young age, a vulnerable age, and develop them into productive members of society and help to give them all of their basic needs here at ISLA, whether it's food needs, housing needs, uh, mental health needs, uh, religious needs, and this all stems from the example of our Prophet Muhammad, peace and prayers be upon him, and the word of Allah uh, as regards to service, um, uh, doing isla, doing restoration in the community, doing what's good, restoring things that went to a place of negativity into a place of positivity.